Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will be integrating DHCP with DNS server in Windows Server 2019. It is necessary to enable integration between DHCP and DNS to dynamically update DNS host and pointer records. Before we make any configuration changes, let me show you something on our Windows 10 client PC. This Windows 10 client PC is part of our Active Directory domain must be noob.lab. On this PC, already I have logged in with the credential of our domain user Joroot. First of all, I'm going to right click on the Start button and let's open Windows PowerShell. At PowerShell, I'm going to run command ipconfig slash renew to get an IP address from our DHCP server. Let's press Enter key. Windows 10 client got the IP address 192.168.1.15. Let's find out the host record of our Windows 10 PC on our DNS server. Let's go to our DNS server. Click on Start button. Click on Windows Admin Tools. And double click on DNS. Let's expand for lookup zone. And let's click on must be noob.lab DNS zone. This is the, our record for our Windows 10 client PC. With the host name Windows 10 PC and the IP address is there 192.168.1.15. Let's double click on it. Click on security tab. Click on advanced. And here you can see default owner is Windows 10 PC. After seeing Windows 10 PC as the owner of this host record, we can say that this host record is registered by our Windows 10 client PC. As a base practice, we should ensure that it is DHCP who should update both host and pointer records for all clients which are getting IP address from DHCP server. So let's change that configuration. For that, I'm going to click on OK button. Click on OK and let's go back to Windows 10 client PC and let's release the IP address. Okay, now we are going to modify settings on our DHCP server. This is our member server. Let's open DHCP management console. Maximize the console. Expand as server name and expand IP version 4. You can modify DNS related settings at IP version 4 level or you can modify that settings at a scope level as well. Let's select our DHCP scope, which is a DHCP scope 1. Right click on it and select properties. Click on DNS tab and here enable DNS dynamic updates options is selected. But here I want to select this checkbox. Always dynamically update a DNS records. Let's click on apply and click on OK. Let's click on refresh button. Let's go back to our Windows 10 client PC and let's run command ipconfig slash renew to renew the IP address. Okay, client got an IP address from our DHCP server. Let's go back to our DNS server. Right click and select refresh. Here we have our record. Let's double click on it. Click on security. Click on advance. And this time you can see owner is member server 01 dollar. That is the computer account of our DHCP server. So now this record is resisted by our DHCP server itself. You can also configure additional settings. Instead of using a computer account of our DHCP server, we can use a service account to do that. For that, let's create one user account in Active Directory. Let's click on OK. Click on OK. Let's minimize this console and let's open Active Directory users and computers. Let's create new user. For this lab guide, I am giving username DHCP DNS update. Let's click on next. I am going to select password never expire because we are going to use this user account as a service account. Let's press with the password. Click on next and click on finish. Now we have our user account. Okay, first let's go to our Windows 10 client PC and let's release the IP address. Let's check on our DNS server. Right click and select refresh. Right now we don't have host record for our Windows 10 client PC. Let's go back to our DHCP server. 
on DHCP server, click on IP version 4, right click on it and select properties. Click on advance and here we have options for DNS dynamic update registration credential. Let's click on credential tab. Here I am going to specify the user account which we have created earlier for DNS dynamic update registration. Let's specify username, domain and his password. Once you provide detail of username, domain name and password, click on OK. Click on OK again and let's go back to our Windows 10 client PC and let's renew the IP address. Client got an IP address 192.168.1.15 from our DHCP server. Let's go to our DNS server. Right click on our forward lookup zone and select a refresh. Here we have a host record for our Windows 10 client PC. Let's double click on it and click on security. Click on advance. And this time you can see the owner of this host record is DHCP DNS update. This is the user account or we can say service account which we have created in our active directory for DNS dynamic update registration. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to enable integration between DHCP server and DNS server with active directory in Windows Server 2019.